Hello, I'm Edward with Everything Kayak, and today we're going to talk about the Hobie Mirage Compass. The uh, compass comes in at 12 foot, 34 inch beam, and it, it weighs 68 pounds. And we'll walk through the boat. Uh, one of the first features we're going to talk about here is the uh, Mirage Drive that's in here. This is the GT with the Glide technology. This is going to come with your standard fins. Um, very, very reliable drive. This is the drive that we've seen from Hobie for years. That is going to lock in nice and easy. And as soon as you drop it in, it is locked. Our actuators here, what we're going to do is to remove that drive, we pull them forward, pull it out, drop it back in, and it is locked. Uh, moving from the bow here, we do have our, uh, our T-handle style carry handle across the front. Nice little embossed logo. We have our webbing covering our front detent here. So we put some stuff underneath there, lock it down, it's not gonna get away from us. If you have a little bit larger bag, you can even put a, um, a bow cooler bag, something like that, across the top of this, it's gonna sit nice and neat. We're seeing some very clean gunnels across on the, uh, the compass here. Moving down, this little T-handle here with the up is gonna be for your rudder. This is going to allow us to lock that rudder in the stowed position for launching, beaching, storing, and transporting. Pull it out, drop it down. That drops our rudder into place. And we'll talk about that rudder a little bit further down the line here. We do have our gear tracks or our H track that we are seeing from Hobie. You're going to insert that T bolt style bolt here, slide it back or forward to get you that positioning that you're going to want for rod holders, speakers, cup holders, uh, the whole assortment of accessories that you can lock into those tracks. We are seeing Hobie's round twist and go or twist block uh, round hatch as well as guys this is going to be your pass-through ports for any kind of electrical install and some uh, drain pl or scupper plugs for the scuppers in the back tank well lock that down this is our drive hold if we want that shallow water sit we can lock that onto our drive and that's going to keep our fins flat under the hull of the boat moving into the chair so nice setup here uh, won't, they're going with simplicity, so this is the positioning. We do have a rise sit frame rail suspension style, very perfect. A lot of perforation here, getting us a lot of nice, uh, nice airflow coming through. Really comfortable chair. We're seeing a little wider base um, on the other side here. This is going to be our steering control. What we're liking is that this is closer to the chair, right off your hip. Really, really easy to move, and uh, kind of a neat pro. Uh, it's a new, new concept we're seeing from them. It's a really clean, off the side setup. So, and moving on back, we have tank well. We are seeing two flush mount molded in rod holders. As always, we've got our bungee across the back. Uh, we've got our, our scupper holes here. We've got our scupper hole underneath the chair, which also has our uh, fish finder, our Lawrence ready um, plate underneath. This cap coming through the back behind the tank well is going to be for your uh, your rudder controls. These pieces here, this is going to be. Let's see if I can get this out real quick for you. Maybe, maybe not. This is going to have the threads in it. This is ready to go for your power pole mounting plate. Uh, they're putting those in already. Again, with our T handle off the back, and we'll come down here to the rudder, show you a couple little features. So, we do have the rudder out the back here. We're seeing a little skeg, a little drag plate right here, which is really nice to help protect that hole. When this rudder is stored, it's going to sit like this. Uh, the other nice feature is it is spring-loaded, so if you do forget or you run over some something, it's going to pop right back down into place. So guys, this, uh, this is the Hobie Mirage Compass. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, and uh, cheers.